Hi, today I'm reviewing the Mix Soon Bean Essence. And really quick, I just want to say I purchase these products with my own money. I will never take any sponsored videos. If that's something you're into, like, subscribe, share the video, uh, check out my Patreon community, or check out the links below. Okay, so I've heard a lot of comments about this. I needed to try it, and I did, and I'm happy I tried it, and I've got a lot of thoughts on it, and they don't necessarily match a lot of the other reviews out there. So sometimes depends on skin type, the product. Sometimes people just have a different experience with things. You never really know. So um, anyway, or sometimes people just hype things up. And you know what? If I give this thing an amazing review, more people will probably buy it for my link than they won't, but I'd rather tell the truth. So anyway. Okay, so they say this refreshing essence contains fermented soybean extract to moisturize skin and control sebum production. It also contains fermented pomegranate extract to smooth skin texture, vitamin-rich barley seed ferment, filtrate to revitalize skin, and pear juice ferment filtrate to deliver antioxidants to skin. And people use this in a variety of different ways. So in some ways, I enjoyed using it for other techniques. It just did not deliver. So I guess it depends on why you're buying it and which purpose you are. So I'll talk about that when I get to ease of use. So... Uh, okay, in terms of packaging, we've got a pump bottle. No issues with it. The product is a little thick, so the pump uh, sometimes struggles to dispense the proper amount, but overall it's a pretty effective, efficient way to package it, so no real issues with that. In terms of denatured drying types of alcohol, it does not contain that. Uh, it's also fragrance-free and has no real scent to it. The ingredient list uh, on my box had four ingredients in it, so keep that in mind. The manufacturing location for this one is Korea, so no issues with that. I might make an appearance. He's thinking about it. He's probably too tall to get under my table. Ike, come here. Oh, he's going to try and go under the table. Well, here we go. And then Ike went, I think, to defend Lincoln. When I mentioned the other video, Lincoln came in with scratches and stuff. I think Ike went to help him, but I think the aggressor had gotten away. It could have been a badger or wolverine or <laughs> who knows, a squirrel. A rabid squirrel, maybe. I don't know. Okay, so ease of use. So a lot of people purchase this product just as a nice essence for hydration. And a lot of other people purchase this, I think, based on a review that they can use it to remove blackheads and exfoliate skin. And there's a lot of reviews online of people that were frustrated that they couldn't get it to exfoliate and remove blackheads the way some others that I mentioned on Reddit or other people had. Um, so there's a technique for using it for removing blackheads and exfoliation. And this was on Mixun commented this. So to get the best result, you should follow the massage methods. Do it at, in at least five minutes. Refer to the massage methods below. One, massage after cleansing, pumping soybean essence three to five times to take it out. To take it out, it takes about two minutes to absorb for a better effect. Number two... Cooling and remove dead skin cell. If you massage with the wide side of your finger for two minutes or longer, you'll see sand-like grains. Please, explaining that granules themselves are sebum and dead skin cells. And then it says, when the granule, granules start to come out, pump more soybean essence and massage your fingertips, fingertips in small circles for five minutes or more so that the sebum and dead skin cells come out better. Three, finish. Number one, if you wash off residue with the water, you can feel very smooth and bright skin. Or number two, wipe off the residue with a cotton pad soaked by toner and then finish with a basic product such as a water essence cream or lotion. So they are trying to do what sounds to me like the oil cleansing method where you take several pumps of like a, a thick oil cleanser, you apply it to clean skin and you just massage it over your skin for like five or ten minutes. And eventually uh, the little granules are blackheads in your skin are like oh my gosh I'm all this oil is absorbed into my nose into my pores and I'm gonna evaporate or I'm gonna you know eject or whatever because all this is filling in where these pores are so they're kind of using that with this product which I tried it and I really didn't get much that doesn't necessarily mean that this didn't work it just could mean other things maybe my blackheads aren't as noticeable as others maybe uh, because I use beta-hydroxy acids, uh, I'm already treating them enough. It could be those. It could be just that this product isn't that great at it. I have tried the oil, oil cleansing method and got a little bit out of it. But in the long run, my skin was not 
happy after I did that days later. It just really got inflamed and freaked out, probably because for five or ten minutes you're just smoothing all of these things on your skin and really like, yeah, it's just too much. So for some people though, using this this way might be great. I don't know. But for me, I tried it. It didn't really produce much results. And that doesn't necessarily mean anything to do with the product. It could be just a personal thing or perhaps I wasn't um, persistent enough. I don't know. But after five minutes, it starts to get old really fast. So anyway, so how I use this is I just apply this to my skin after cleansing and toning, uh, which seems to work okay for me because the uh, exfoliation method just didn't do anything. So it's got kind of a stickier texture. Kind of reminds me of snail mucin a little bit. How it's kind of sticky and uh, goopy a little bit. But uh, so anyway, so after the exfoliation method did nothing for me, I just have been using it after cleansing and toning, smoothing on the skin to give skin some extra hydration. Uh, once it soaks in, it sets to a natural finish that is just slightly tacky, but it's not problematic because I apply a moisturizer or a serum after it. So the tackiness isn't an issue. So anyway, so for ease of use, I gave a thumbs up. Just depends on how you want to use it. So if you're looking for the oil cleansing type method thing, I would just really recommend going with the BHA salicylic acid product. That's the most effective, efficient, and typically the best way for your skin. So, okay, I'm going to talk about the ingredients in a second. Uh, I'll get to that in a second. In terms of animal testing, so Mixin is cruelty-free, so no issues with that. That is awesome. In terms of performance, so I kind of discussed the performance for the exfoliation method. For me, it was a bust, but for some people, it worked amazingly. For me, using it the way I've come to use it now, it adds some nice hydration to skin, which is nice. Gives some skin some moisture. Um, if you're looking to use this to exfoliate, again... I'd recommend going with a BHA serum. I just think it's gentler for your skin. Some people can use some of these products for exfoliation and it feels very gratifying. But then the next day and day after, sometimes your skin can get really irritated and unhappy. So I just personally, I think you're better off going with a BHA serum. It's more proven. It's studied. And if, if you start using it on a regular basis, I think you'll be happier in the long run than having to spend all these minutes trying to really extract these things physically. Um, so if you're looking to add some nice extra moisture to your skin, this is a better way to use this without any disappointment. The nice thing is for acne prone skin, there's no ingredients of note. So that is absolutely wonderful. In terms of the price, so this is a full size 50 milliliters, 1.7 ounces. It retails for about $35, which is very expensive in my opinion. Um, yeah, $35 for, I guess it's the size of a serum is gets to be kind of expensive especially when there's a lot of other essence products that are four or five ounces and even cost less uh one thing i might recommend is the jin jung sung essence which is really lovely and i'll review that next week so okay ingredients there are two ingredients of lists for this one floating around online i'm going by the one i got in my box it's also the one published on yes style and on Mixun's Amazon page. So that's the ingredient list I'm going off of. It's very short. It's four ingredients. So 250,000 parts per million of lactobacillus soybean ferment extract, which is a good hydrating, soothing prebiotic ingredient. Uh, lactobacillus ferment itself is a lab-created non-living probiotic made by the fermentation of lactobacillus. Applied to skin has been shown to have a potent soothing effect and helps uh, the skin barrier heal also. Uh, may play the role with the skin microbiome and healthy mix of flora. Um, so then we've got that lactobacillus uh, pomegranate fruit extract, which is also known as pomegranate enzyme. Typically it's uh, an exfoliant, so that's probably why people are trying to use this like an exfoliant in here. Um, and it's uh, pomegranate enzyme that's obtained by fermenting pomegranate fruit with lactobacillus. The fermentation process makes the desired phytochemicals ready ava readily available and selective filtration techniques are used to isolate uh, the fractions. The end result is an enzyme that increases cell renewal and can be an alternative to an acid exfoliation, though still, in my opinion, not as effective as glycolic acid um, so or lactic acid, so keep that in mind. Um, 
Okay, then we've got Saccharomyces barley seed ferment, which is a humectant. And then we've got the Lactobacillus pear fruit ferment, which is skin conditioning. So we've got uh, an antioxidant, we've got an exfoliant, a humectant, and a skin conditioning ingredient. So basically four things. And uh, yeah, so it's a simple ingredient list. It's simple, but sometimes simple is great just to add some extra moisture to your skin. So nothing wrong with that. Um, okay, finally, in terms of the it factor, it's a decent minimal ingredient list product that could work for sensitive skin types. I know there's a lot of people with sensitive skin, and some people with sensitive skin don't even know what might cause the sensitivity. So finding something with a short ingredient list uh, reduces the risk of that, but they know they're going to be able to get the added moisture and things from this. So um, it's easy to fit into your routine. I'll definitely finish this product. It's not something I must have or repurchase at this point. I'll definitely check out the other goodies from Mix soon. But at this point for me, it's it's okay. I'll finish it. Not not something I feel like I have to have. The other interesting thing, there's not a lot of dupes or really alternatives. I really, when I get to the It Factor, I like to mention other similar products. There's really nothing very similar to this with such a short ingredient list. So anyway. Okay, so let's see. With a perfect score being a 10, I gave it a 7. Uh, I guess the... Price, the it factor, and the performance in terms of it exfoliating are kind of uh, disappointing. But uh, everything else, it's a nice product. So anyway, interesting hearing from you guys. Have you had a chance to check this out yet? And if you have, have you tried the exfoliation method with it? And were you successful? So uh, anyway, interesting hearing from you guys. Leave a comment. And I will see you guys more tomorrow. Thank you so much. Bye, guys. All right. <clears throat>